Lightning Likes, Hertzfeld, Medved Tagia, Veronica Savannah, Parquet, Fernanda, Yukon Valley, Quattro Kilinas, and today we're going to talk about them. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all the reserves of the Hunter Call of the Wild. And I'll be giving you guys a couple of my hotspots that you should go check out if you haven't already. But before we start, I want to just say I hope everyone is staying safe from the coronavirus. I think it is going to start dying down a lot soon in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully people will be able to start going out into the world again. So I just wanted to say that before we get into the video, but stay safe and let's get into the video. So we are on Hurstfeld, the very first map of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hurstfeld is on the Hunter Classic, and if anyone plays Hunter Classic, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Hurstfeld is on the Hunter Classic. So um, this is supposed to be somewhere in Europe, like Germany or somewhere, and the animals on here are European bison. Red deer, roe deer, fallow deer, coyote, or not coyotes, fox, and wild boar. For right now, Hurstfeld and Quatricolinus does have a road pro uh, problem. You can tell by the floating roads. Here, here, and there. Um, we are here on the map, so if you want to come check this out, here's the spot where it is. And before we move on to the next map, we are going to, or I'm going to show you a couple of my hotspots that you might want to go check out. The first spot is actually down the hill from where I am right now. So I got a tent right here. It is very open. I'll go to the tent real quick. So it is very open right here on the map. So you'll see bison, red deer, wild boar, and roe deer throughout this area at um, their feed times and stuff. So you'll find um, bison like right over there. And then you'll see red deer over there. Anywhere right here. And then wild boar are normally in this little dip down right here. So the next spot is actually a goose spot it is right here on the map it is very very good for goose so I got that spot and another spot I um, started hunting at is right here this spot is for fallow deer right here it is not far from this area so I put a tent right here and then you can just walk here you want to come here at fallow deer drink time which is 930 till 1300. Another good spot is for wild boar right here. You'll find coyotes and, not coyotes, fox here. And once in a while some red deer. So if you really like to hunt wild boar, come check that out. I think we're going to move on to our next map. So I'll see you on Leighton Lakes. So we are here at Leighton Lakes the second map of the Hunter Call of the Wild. It is located somewhere in the US, like close to the US and Canada border, Canadian border. This reserve holds black bear, moose, black tail, white tail, ducks, and coyotes. This is probably one of my favorite maps of the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I got some duck decoys and you can see a ton of ducks out here. See if there's any diamonds before we head off. And it does not look like it. So here are some hot spots. I'm down here at Renachi Railroad Outpost. Let's see if I got it right. Renachi Western Outpost. Down at the bottom left corner. Now this is more for like a morning hunt. You can find black tail, white tail, elk and ducks here. And then another place is a duck area down here. Not very far from the Renacci Western Outpost. Right across the river from it. I got some duck decoys, but we're not going there. And then for any other animal, 
what I do is start at this outpost, the Renacci outpost, walk up the river, and then just follow the river up here, and as Jack C. Beard calls it, Diamond Alley. This probably holds a lot of diamonds for other people, but not really me. I'm still kind of trying to work on it. But you can tell I got a ton of need zones. And then right here, it holds some diamonds, but I've seen a couple really nice level 4 animals like elk and blacktail, and I killed a pretty nice whitetail about a month ago. But another good area for elk is right here. Then you want to cross over here. And this map has no glitches right now, so that's pretty good. But actually, I forgot about a big glitch. Not really a glitch, but something they need to work on. Blacktail and elk don't really score properly. You could get a level 4, but it scores bigger than a level 5, but the level 5 scores not in the diamond area for blacktail so we are still hoping they'll fix that pretty soon so we can come back here and hunt blacktail and elk and we could enjoy it again but this is definitely my one of my favorite maps probably like my second map and we're gonna move on to our next map Okay, we are at the third map of the Hunter Call of the Wild, Medved Taga. It is located in Russia. It is a pretty good map, but I don't think people hunt this map very much, which I want to start hunting on it again. But you can definitely tell on my map that this side of the map doesn't have any outposts except like two or three. But this map, this side of the map, the right side, this lake right here is loaded with reindeer. It is a morning spot for reindeer. You could find musk deer and black, uh, not black bear, brown bear. And then down here at this outpost, this little tiny lake, it holds reindeer, moose, wild boar, musk deer, and Eurasian lynx and hopefully they'll add musk ox to this one day and I think after that people are going to start hunting this map a little bit more but I don't really have anything else to say about this map I don't really know much about this map and don't really hunt on it so let's move on to the next map so we are here at the at the what is it fourth map of Call of the Wild it is located in Africa. The name of it is Rahanga Savannah Reserve. This is probably my favorite map out of hunting, but not my favorite map out of the looks of the map. This map holds Cape Buffalo, the most dangerous animal in Africa, if you don't believe me. Well, I guess you just don't believe me, but it holds Oryx or Gimsbuck, whichever one you want to call it. Lesser Kudu, the big, the smaller brother of the Greater Kudu, Springbuck, Warthog, and Lion. I wish the Lions were a little more aggressive on Call of the Wild, but this is a really neat map. Let's see if we can spot any animals while we're here. You might see a level nine water, but uh, not water buffalo. Um. Okay, buffalo. So there's a Gims buck right there. Walking its way to the water to feed. I don't know which one. My hot spots for here is definitely this lake at the top left corner of the map. And you can tell I have killed tons of animals right here. If I were you just come over here, walk up from this outpost. Walk up, put a tent here, and right here on the seal is a really nice area for Gimsbuck. So I put a tripod right here, 
And then right here, it's got Gims, Buck, and Lions. So I definitely encourage you to come here and check this out. And then for another hot spot would be right here at the bottom left corner of the map. Just come here in the morning around 8, 8.30 or 9 a.m. And just come walk all the way down here and then back up to the road. But while we're here, I think we're going to try to get this guy. Not that far. Where'd he go? He down. We got him, boys. All right. Uh, I'll see you on the next map. So we are here at Parque Fernandez, the fifth map of Call of the Wild. It is located in South America, in the heart of South America. It contains water buffalo, red deer, cin cinnamon teal, axis deer, black buck, and red deer. So it has any, just about any South American animal you can think of. Oh yeah, and mule deer. This is a really pretty spot, but not as pretty as the next map I'm going to show you. Okay, my hot spots here are definitely the Octopus Lake, as everyone calls it. It is located close to the bottom right area of the map. And then this little lake right here. It is a good lake for just about any animal you can think of. And I forgot another animal for Parque Fernando. Puma. Can't forget that. So you got Octopus Lake. This lake right here. And then you definitely want to check this lake out right here. It contains just about any animal you can think of. This area, I've killed like three diamond water buffalo out of this area. But of course, at this time, the water buffalo are glitched or bugged where they don't score right. So, this is definitely one of my favorite areas out of the all the maps. And I think it wraps this map up. So, let's move on to our next map. So this is Yukon Valley. It is my most favorite map. It is so gorgeous, so beautiful. This is the map you will want to come walk around if you're like aggravated from something. Just hop on here and go to Yukon Valley. And it does have very relaxing music. I could just sit here until the music ends. But let's get on to the video. This map contains moose, American bison, caribou, grizzly bear, and wolves. You can't forget wolves. This map is located in the Yukon Territory in Canada. I could just hunt this map all day, but unfortunately I've gotten a little tired of this map from hunting it so much. So I did move on to a different map. I definitely would be coming back here very soon. So before we go move on to our next map, we are gonna I'm gonna show you my hot spots of this map that you have to check out. Okay, the first one is at the top right corner, right beside the railroad tracks. You would want to start here at Frontier Vista Outpost, walk down onto the railroad tracks, walk here. Walk out into the middle if you got a med kit and you know how to do this. If you see any caribou and you shoot one, just jump off with the med kit and hopefully you'll survive the jump if you know how to use them. The next hot spot is definitely this outpost, or not outpost, but this lookout post right here. I did put a tent beside it and it is right beside the outpost I'm at, it is located in the middle of the map. You definitely want to come check this spot out. We got one more map to go, so we are going to move on. So we are here at the last map they've added to the Hunter Call of the Wild. It is the seventh map. This map contains red deer, wild boar, roe deer, Mercedes ibex, 
Iberian Mouflon, Ronda Ibex, and what is it? Southeastern Ibex and Iberian Wolves. I was so pumped and ready for this map to come out because it was somewhere different at the time and it had wild sheep or if you want to call it goats. But whenever it came out and I played it for a while, I didn't really like it. It's not really my type of map. I don't really like it that much, so I don't really hunt here much. This map is located in Spain. I don't know where in Spain, but Spain. And my hot spots, my very few hot spots are right here at this lake, the top right lake. And once in a while, I come to this map, this lake right here for some uh, Ibex. That is all I have to say about each map of the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is one of my least favorite maps now because I don't really like it. I'm not really the type for this map. But I really hope they'll add another map soon, like somewhere in Texas with prong corn and something, or a New Zealand map, or I don't know what. But before we end this video, I think everyone knows they are going to be adding turkeys sometime this year, but we don't really know when. You can hear the turkeys in the background at Hirschfelden once in a while, but I don't really think they'll be adding them there, even though there's turkey gobbles and stuff in the background. So yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please like. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the hit and the notification bell and leave a comment in the comment section on what kind of video you want me to do next if you want me to do a real life video of me reviewing my bow or something like that or another Call of the Wild video I'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.